Well, it's horrific. Uh, these poor people, uh, 400, 400 of them, had fled from the northern uh, Gaza Strip uh, last night uh, seeking refuge uh, because they were no longer safe uh, in their homes. Uh, we had given them uh, refuge in our school, um, and uh, at 11.30 last night, three of them uh, were using the toilet facilities in the school, and they had just uh, come out of the toilets, uh, and they were struck by a, by a missile uh, from, a, from, a, from an aircraft. Um, and killed uh, instantly. Um, so it's, uh, it's just, uh, again, more evidence of how dangerous it is. There's no place in Gaza safe for the ordinary people here, and they're terrorized uh, by the fact that uh, they can be next. Uh, the numbers speak for themselves, 600 dead, almost 3,000 injured. Uh, they're right to be terrorized. I'll come back to that situation in a moment, but in terms of the school itself, the building, I mean, is it marked at all? Is it identified as a school, a UN Absolutely. building? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we have provided the GPS uh, coordinates of every single one of our locations. Uh, they are clearly marked uh, with UN uh, insignia, flags flying, uh, lights shining on the flags at night, and so on. Uh, it's very clear uh, that these are United Nations installations. Just a final thought on this particular incident. What do you want to happen? I mean, uh, would it, uh, are you calling for an investigation of any sort? Absolutely. We are calling for accountability for all actions in this conflict as per the Geneva Convention. There are laws of war, and everybody who, who is involved in, in war has to be accountable under those laws for every action that they take. Every life is precious, and everybody has to take that responsibility very seriously. So again, those who were involved, uh, uh, there needs to be an, a, an impartial, independent uh, investigation to establish accountability for that and all other actions here on the Palestinian side and on the Israeli side.